Hi and welcome to the third video in the Zilf series. So this one is going to be just looking at the uh, directory structure and how I personally I set up everything so that you've got your folders and files in the right place where you want them. So um, if we just move across to the screen and uh, you'll notice uh, from the pre if you've watched the previous video or if you've got um, Zilf installed in front of you out of the box, you'll, rather from the download, you'll get bin, uh, sample, and zillib. So I've got two additional directories here. Um, I've got uh, zill, uh, Moodle, and PDFs. I've also got uh, development, uh, which I'll come back to in a second. Now, um, something as well that we'll probably do in, in the next video but I'll give you a link for it uh, under this one so you can get started is I've also got some resources um, some additional things that you don't get with the download just little things that I've put together um, so we'll, but that, that, oh, I'll go through that in more detail in the next video mainly um, how I would recommend that you set it up is to have a folder called or have a directory called development and then within this just have absolutely everything that you've got that you're working on um, and you can set it up if you wanted to. I mean, I, I tend to uh, copy the uh, library files into every uh, sort of subdirectory, game directory, if you like, that I've got. So I've got one, let's just open up Merlin's Castle, which is one that I did as a little tech demo type thing. And you'll notice in here, you know, I've got parser, I've got verbs, scope, orphan, I did the whole whole shooting match and the you can you can set it up so that you so that uh, when you type Zilf and you compile it that it will pull from this directory all the time but I personally why would you want to do that the thing is um, as a general rule you don't really want to be editing you certainly don't really want to be looking about with the parser um, and you don't really want to be messing with the verbs having said that once you get really comfortable with it, um, yeah, that is pretty much something that you would probably start doing. Um, so by putting your own, by putting a, basically an individual set of, uh, by putting each library set effectively with the game file, it just means that you can mess with it and, and obviously do that without injuring the, uh, or breaking the, the original library set. So yeah, I would have a development directory and I'll put all your game files in here. Now something as well um, that I didn't used to do, I used to literally just have them all in, in this development directory and I wouldn't break them down um, by, uh, by, by type, which firstly isn't the best way of organizing it. But the other way, the other thing as well, when you use VS code um, to actually do your programming, do your coding, um, it, it prefers it basically when if you have everything in what you it calls these project folders or project directories so it prefers you to have them in so again um, that's another reason why it's best to have it um, set up like this and also again with all the library files in so yeah I would have a uh, I would recommend setting yourself up with a development directory and um, that's uh, that's the way to do it. So that's it. Um, in the next video, I'll talk to you about, uh, I'll give you a little heads up. There's this one here called Verbs Plus. And in here, you'll notice as well, we've got uh, Transit. And that's it. But there was one other. Oh, just again, just the model uh, PDF. So we'll take a look at that in the next video. Um, so until then, take care.